Welcome, this is Terry Ewell. Weizenborn study number 24 is a real finger twister and a brain strainer. It features descending and ascending thirds in E-flat major. Let's consider line 6, the three measures before the fermata. My rule is that you need at least two ways to practice a difficult passage. But in this case, I expect you to come up with at least six practice methods. I want you to stop the video now and write down all of the ways you can think of practicing these three measures. Okay, let's compare notes. If you have been watching all of the prior videos, you should have at least six ways to practice this passage. Here are some of the ways I developed to practice these three measures. Rhythms that coincide with the meter. Rhythms that don't coincide with the meter. Beat displacement. Beat displacement with rhythms. Of course, you can do all of the prior rhythms given earlier with beat displacement. Here's one example. Repeated notes. Sprints. Remember to practice small sections first. I mentioned in the earlier studies that it is best to start from the last measure first and then add the measures before it. For instance, practice the measure before the fermata first, then two measures before, then three measures before. Also use this additive method for your work with rhythms. I mentioned in study 11 that it is helpful to think of the scale and allow the fingers to follow. This also helps with this difficult passage. Sometimes a solution to a fingering problem lies with the way you think about the passage. In the second to last measure, I continued to have difficulties until I fixed my attention on the problem note. For me, the G2 is the key note. I greatly improved my accuracy by concentrating on that note. You will find similar issues with other difficult passages. 
The solution could be focusing on a certain finger motion in a key area or attending to a single note in a passage. Practice for success. Always end your practice sessions with successful performances. When you practice, you will increase the difficulty, hear the speed of the passage, until failure or mistakes occur. Then reduce the speed until you are successful. Ending with successful repetitions will give you a positive attitude about the difficult passage. I use the alternate E-flat fingering except for when the E-flat 3 starts the phrase. Be sure to use the little finger key on every G3 to keep these notes in tune. Last of all, fermatas in the studies imply a rallentando prior to the fermata. I have included this in the music accompanying the edited performance. In weight training, you can't just keep doing the same thing. Somewhere along the line, you have to train with more intensity. Either you need to lift more weight, to go through your routine at a faster pace, to add more exercise to the program, or all of the above. I challenge you to consider how to improve all aspects of your life. Be your best. When you practice bassoon, don't keep doing the same things over and over again. Consider if there are superior and more efficient ways to practice and improve your bassoon technique. In study 24, there are two problems, one of rapid fingerings and one of oxygen regulation and concentration. You need to adopt efficient ways to move your fingers. I've prepared a video on fingering technique, BDP number 23, that will be helpful for you. In particular, advanced players need to pay attention to the end of that video, 5 minutes and 20 seconds and onward. The second issue of breath control, oxygen regulation, and better concentration will be mastered in several ways. Learn to relax your whole body when you play. Use only efficient motions because this will increase your lung capacity and provide a more efficient use of oxygen. Efficient breathing and exhalation will also improve your playing. My monograph, Wind Performer's Guide to Increasing Endurance, provides information on efficient breathing and several exercises to increase performance endurance. It is available on lulu.com. Thank you.